Being able to take notes is an important skill. Kurzweil 3000 Column Notes, with its three-column format, lets you take notes while you read and do research, even across documents. And Column Notes can take you from reading to writing in one easy step. In this clip, we'll learn how to extract highlights to column notes, do some editing, hide columns, and save your column notes. Suppose you've read this document and you've highlighted some main ideas and supporting details by using the Kurzweil 3000 color highlighters. That's what we've done here. We have some main ideas and some details, another main idea, and more details here. Now you want to pull all of your notes together. We'll go to the File menu and choose Extract Highlights to Column Notes. And let's take a look at this. We'll have yellow highlighters going to column 1, green highlights going to column 2. We'll say OK for those defaults. And we'll choose to open a new column notes file. The column notes window opens containing the highlighted text at the bottom. Notice the main ideas are in the first column. Their details are followed in the second column. The third column is an ideal place to put additional elaboration or source information. Whenever you type or edit in column notes, remember that editing supports are available there too. You can use word prediction and spell check as well. So let's go up to the tools menu and we'll select word prediction and we'll put in some notes here. We'll select something from the word prediction window. And do another word from word prediction. What else can you do in column notes? Let's open its right mouse button menu. If all you need are two columns, you can hide the third column. It may not show up here, it's at the bottom of this right mouse button menu. And if what you want to do is study your notes, you could cover the second column and give yourself a quiz. Again, cover second column is in the right mouse button menu. Now let's try to save the column notes into a file. You can save column notes files anywhere on your system and they're saved as K3C file format. So we'll save it to the desktop, give it a name, and save. Let's close the column notes for this document. Let's say you're in another document. You can open the existing one by clicking the column notes, open an existing notes file, and there's the one that we just created. We'll open that up. And whenever you're ready to begin writing from your notes, you can extract column notes to outline. And that's on the file menu.
extract column notes to outline. And here you can go from outline to draft and expand the notes to prose in this text document. Here are a few more tips. Highlighting and typing into column notes are just two ways of filling in column notes. You can also drag and drop, copy and paste text into the column notes from other sources. And at any time, you can also click the Read button to hear your notes. Lastly, if you have Cursor 3000 on a laptop, you can use column notes for taking class notes or lecture notes.